Polymerase Chain Reaction Polymerase Chain Reaction, or PCR, is a technique that depends on the unwinding and rewinding of double-stranded DNAs in thermal cycling and the effect of heat-stable DNA polymerase to replicate a specific DNA segment into multiple copies. PCR requires the following six essential materials. A DNA template containing the sequence to be amplified, a buffer providing suitable pH and chemical environment, a pair of synthesized DNA primers that are about 18 to 25 nucleotides long and respectively complementary to the three prime ends of the desired segment, four different DNTPs as building blocks for the newly synthesized strands, including DATP, DTTP, DCTP, and DGTP, and heat-stable DNA polymerase and its cofactor magnesium ion at the optimal concentration. A thermal cycle in PCR includes three steps, denaturation, annealing, and extension. In the first step, the temperature increases to about 95 degrees Celsius, and the double-stranded DNA templates unwind into two single-stranded molecules this is known as the denaturation of DNAs. Next, the temperature decreases to about 55 to 65 degrees Celsius. Most of the primers will pair correctly with the DNA template and provide a base pairing 3' hydroxyl end for DNA polymerases to extend new strands. This is known as the annealing of the primers. In the final step, the temperature increases again to about 72 degrees Celsius. Due to the high activity of DNA polymerase at this temperature, new strands of DNA are rapidly synthesized from the three prime ends of the primers. This is known as the extension of new strands. The number of DNA segments double after each cycle within a few minutes. Therefore, a large number of copies will be produced after dozens of cycles within one or two hours. PCR is generally carried out in an automatic thermal cycler. The machine provides an uniform temperature throughout each block and rapid temperature changes. The temperature, the reaction time, and the number of cycles can also be programmed and saved in advance. The amount and the ratio of DNA templates, primers, DNA polymerases, and DNTPs should be determined in advance. The recommended concentration for each material in a 50 microliter PCR mixture is about 1 to 100 nanograms of DNA template, around 0.2 to 0.4 micromolar of each primer, 1.25 units of polymerase, and 200 micromolar of each DNTP. The quality and the amount of PCR products are highly affected by the concentration of magnesium ion. A concentration of 1.5 to 2 millimolar is recommended, but the optimal concentration for its reaction should be determined. If the concentration is too low, the efficiency of the polymerase decreases, resulting in insufficient PCR products. In contrast, if the concentration of magnesium ion is too high, the non-specific binding of primers to the DNA template increases and leads to more errors in amplification. DNA fragments double after each thermal cycle. When there are 2 to the first power of DNA copies after the first cycle, 2 to the nth power of DNA copies are produced after n cycles. The amount of DNA fragments increases exponentially with the cycle number until the polymerases are denatured or other materials are used up. As shown in the figure here, if the DNA template is longer than the fragment to be amplified, new copies with the same length as the desired fragment are generated from the third cycle. Millions of copies of the DNA fragment can be generated within an hour after 20 cycles. 
but each cycle will create only two undesired longer fragments. Therefore, the majority of the newly synthesized copies are of the same length as a desired fragment. PCR can be a great help in amplifying DNA samples that are difficult to collect in large amounts. PCR followed by DNA sequencing can help in identifying criminals, running paternity tests, and detecting mutations or diseases. Therefore, whether it is a circular or linear DNA, give DNA samples a PCR spa bath where you need multiple copies of them.